The BIF diag function or bifurcation diagram function draws the graphical representation of a bifurcation diagram for a differential equation with parameter written as a two variable anonymous function. So the idea basically with these is going to draw a phase line for every value of alpha over a range of alpha and give that picture as the bifurcation diagram for that equation. Let's look at the function real quick. So this function takes in an anonymous function f. This will be a function of two variables, a first and y second, a being the parameter that you're doing for the adjusting, and y is the actual dependent variable of the system. It then takes in a min and max value for a and a min and max value for y, and we'll use the information there to draw this bifurcation diagram. Let's see an example of what this might look like. So I can define my anonymous function here, which I'll call f a for f sub alpha, at of a and y for the two variables, and we'll call it this y times y squared plus a. Now we can just use this method to draw the diagram. We put in the function f, we put in our min value for a, we'll do minus five to five in both coordinates, minus five to five in y, and run that. And there is a picture of the bifurcation diagram. It doesn't look super filled in because the dots are pretty well spaced out. But this gives you an idea of where the black equivalent solutions are, and then the red and blue for the up and down regions, like in phase lines. If you want to get a more filled in picture, although it will take longer to run it, you can go into the method itself. If you change this end lines variable, make it bigger. So let's say it's double that up to 100, save it, and then go back and run that code again. You get a more filled in picture. That took, I mean, probably about three to four times as long as the other one did. So if it's taking a long time, you may want to reduce that value a little bit to get something a little more reasonable to use, but you get a more filled in picture here. As a reminder, this does require a function of two variables again, with the parameter being adjusted in the first slot. So what if I want to get a phase line out of this? Well, a phase line requires me to fix the value of a or the value of alpha, and then draw a phase with what is left. So we can do that pretty easily by fixing one of the variables. If I clear the figure, I can fix the variable by making a new anonymous function where I just plug in the appropriate value where I want it. So I can do a phase line here of my function fa, and we'll adjust this in a second. We'll go from minus five to five. And now how do I want this to work? I want this to be a function of one variable. So let's declare it as a function of just the variable y. And what do I want that function to be? I want it to be the function for some fixed value of a. So I can say do minus two comma y, which will fix the value of a, this parameter to be minus two, and then run the phase line with that y, because that's the input here. Let's run that and see what happens. And we would expect. So if I look at alpha equals minus two, that's the straight line up here. I'm going to see exactly blue, black, red, black, blue, black, red, which is exactly what I see down here as well. So that allows you to restrict certain variables out to get to what you need for a phase line. Just like for, we went from phase lines to sample plots, we could add variables, to make it work for that function. So that is how the bifurcation diagram function works and how you can work with it to draw these pictures as well as draw phase lines from them to use in that MATLAB assignment.